number two for me with Vlogmas. So it is Monday for me, Monday following Thanksgiving weekend. I am up and at it already. Got to get back to business and so on. We made it back home um, late yesterday evening, which was Sunday. And in case you missed yesterday's video, we went back to my home um, state and visited for the rest of the Thanksgiving weekend. I didn't vlog there because, like I mentioned before, that I didn't really—I haven't told anybody besides my aunt. She's the only one that knows that I even started a YouTube channel. That's a story for another day. If you got family, then you understand where I'm going with that. Story for another day. But anyways, um, so I didn't vlog there, but I will tell you guys kind of our highlights and so on. Now, for anyone that um, was wondering whether or not the hubby came with us, he did. He did. He made it. Um, the man loved me. I love the man. All the good stuff, right? So, he was not going to let me get on the road, especially a holiday weekend, um, without him and so on. So, the entire family packed up and we headed back to my home state. And I'm so, it was so nice. It was so nice. I, I'm, I'm more at peace. Now, like, my, I'm settled, if that makes sense. I'm settled. And, again, if you didn't see yesterday's video, check it out so you kind of know where I'm, what, what I'm rambling about early this morning. So, anyways, yeah, we made it back in late um, yesterday evening. So, it was straight baths, dinner, um, a few miscellaneous things, and then hopped into bed. Simple as that. Um, so, I need to actually get the day cracking. The daycare opens today. Um... So I gotta go downstairs and finish off what didn't get done in the daycare before um, we left last week. And so on before the kids start arriving. So I gotta get that done. Um, but before I do that, I need to unpack my suitcase. Like I still have a few things. It's not a lot. Look at that. It's not a lot. Nobody can judge me. Not a lot. But I need to unpack my suitcase. Um, if I don't tell you guys anything else, tip of the day. Always unpack immediately when you get home from a trip don't linger don't let it sit around don't wait because i guarantee you it'll pile up and pile up and if you're anything like me i'm telling you you'll end up just sticking all your new and fresh clothes that you just wash into the suitcase because that's exactly the kind of stuff i do um so i'm i'm really i try my best to unpack as soon as we get home so the kids unpack their suitcases um, I did the smaller bag that we had, um, and I put some of my stuff away last night. Then I got distracted. I'm not going to tell you guys with what, but I got distracted. Um, so I didn't finish my stuff off. So let's do that now. Alright, so I finally wrestled Mason and Maddie up. Now we are headed to the school so that I can drop them off because they may or may not be a little bit late. Not too late, but a little bit late. So I let them sleep in. They were tired and all that other jazz. That's what it is with you coming back from a long weekend of traveling and all that other stuff. I'm sure y'all understand. So I'm going to be dropping them off. I'm going to grab me some breakfast. I need a coffee this morning. And then I'll be headed to CVS. And then I'll see you guys later on this evening, which shall be my evening, when the kiddos and I start working on the Christmas decor. Yes, we got to put the tree together. And I got to get all that stuff situated and all that jazz. Yes, Maddie, tonight we are getting home from school, and once the daycare kids leave, we'll start working on it. That sounds good to you? Okay. You have it on your mind. That's what we're going to do when you get home. Do y'all want to say good morning, and then see you later to everybody, Maddie? I'm vlogging, in case you haven't realized. That's Maddie. Mr. Grumpy Pants, are you going to say anything? You want to say good morning? No? He's still feeling the way he's feeling and so on so all right just made it to school dropping the kids off grabbing my breakfast headed to cbs and then i'll see you guys later for christmas decor okay guys i know i said that i'll see you guys later on 
this evening when we start decorating the tree and all that good stuff. But I wanted to hop back on. I just left CVS, got my couponing done for this week, which is for the um, the deal set started Sunday yesterday, which was the 27th. If I'm not mistaken, I don't ever know what day of the week it is. Yes, the 27th was yesterday. Anyways, I ran into an older couple. And when I say older, a few years older than myself and my hubby. Um, and they were couponing. I just love to see. First of all, let me say this. And if you agree or you can relate, I do not like shopping with my husband. Let me tell you why. Like when we go to stores, no matter what store we go to, Walmart, Target, Ross, the dollar store, it don't matter. He is forever putting stuff in the basket that he has no intentions of buying. And that was not even on his list of things to be getting in the first place. But anyways, I don't really care to shop with them. But I'm always in awe when I see older couples, seasoned couples, shopping together. And how they kind of gel. The hubby is just pushing the basket and wife say, get this, get that. And he just does it. That don't work with me and Justin. Justin be all over the store. I have to go looking for him. I got to call. I got to do what I got to do with the kids. Call on the PA system. Can you tell Justin to get on to the front? Because he always, somewhere he ain't got no business being. But anyways, there was an older couple, um, Miss Alex and Mr. Jose. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Um, that were couponing. And she had came over and asked me a few questions. And, you know, one thing led to another. We got to talking, and I was telling her how to break up her transaction. She had, like, 30 bucks in extra care bucks. Um, and I was like, oh, $30? Oh, you are rich. Let's do this here. So I, you know, showed her what to do and how to kind of roll her transactions into one and so on. Because she was thinking she needs to buy each thing individually to get her extra care bucks. And I was like, no, 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 you have $30. You can spend all of that in one transaction. And then reap all of the extra care bucks back in that same transaction so on and so forth so anyways i you know sit there and chit chat and work with work that out with them um and then the hubby was telling me that he um that she was just starting to kind of get into it and you know understanding how it works and all that other stuff etc 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 so anyway that was just my highlight for the day thus far i just like to meet other um couponers in the store whether it be seasoned couponers or beginners, I like to meet them in the store, chit chat with them, and you know, share information, ideas, and you know, all the ins and outs kind of thing. So I was able to help her out there, and then point her in the direction of some other um, useful information and resources, including a few YouTube channels that I also pointed her to and told her to check out, as they do amazing breakdown videos and hauls, and you know, and all that stuff. There, they do more than I do because I don't do the whole. Um, pre-hand breakdown because mama just don't have time for all that but anyways um that was just my my moment for the day my happy what's the, what is that truck doing oh, okay the light screen that was just my you know i just i just like to meet people in the store in general that are couponing and they get the whole world of couponing and again just share information and all that stuff there so i just wanted to hop on here and say that before i forgot about that but seriously i'm going home Got to get the daycare kids fed for lunch. Um, and then I got to get my haul video for CBS recorded and up hopefully today. And then we got to start working on that tree stuff once the kids get home from school this afternoon. So I shall see you guys later. Okay, guys. So I kind of started cheating, if you will. If you guys see Maddie, just tell her that Santa and the elves came by and they got the tree up. But anyways, I went ahead and started putting the tree together. Well... I put the tree up. Let me tell you guys, this is a seven foot tree. This sucker is huge and heavy. Oh my goodness, I don't think I recall it. You know what, I can't say I don't recall it being that heavy last year because I wasn't the one that put it up. It was the hubby. But anyways, I wanted to get a head start because once I looked at my planner and realized that this week is just as packed with eating the activities as all weeks, I don't know why I thought I was gonna have time uh, to be doing that tree during the week so on and so forth so anyways i managed to get all this here done um, up here got all that on top of my entertainment center those are just some little um porsettas and those obviously you can tell they're not real so they're little porsettas also put up my little charger and my other little base that i got from walmart a little while back um now let me tell you guys it took me roughly an hour and a half just to put this tree up on its stand and to put all of this here up and then i did a few things at a daycare it should not have taken me that long, but it did. Remember, guys, I work with a bunch of little people. 
that are so needy sometimes. <laughs> but those are my daycare babies. So anyways, I was trying to do this in between them being occupied with toy time and all that stuff. So I sorted the tree. I'm going to walk closer. I hope that the lighting isn't so like terrible. But anyways, um, I sorted the tree out. As you can see at the bottom, I started fanning it out and all that. But I'm going to leave it as is for the time being. Um, I think I'll leave the top to the hubby and Jada to do later on. And besides, I have like a 30 minute window to eat something because I haven't eaten since early this morning before my daycare kiddos wake up from nap. So I need to learn, I need to learn how to quit when it's time to quit. But so far, so good. I got all that done. Got all the um, fall stuff put away. Let me show you guys the mess. I, oh, I also washed all of our Christmas throw blankets. I'm one of those people that I love throw blankets, especially seasonal ones. So we have like blankets for every season. Like it's, it's that serious for me. So anyways, um, I did that. And as you can see all the other Christmas totes and all that stuff, I got to get done. So, so far, so good guys. I'm rolling, cooking with bacon as they say. And once Maddie and Mason walks in and the daycare kids are gone this evening, um, hopefully we have a window of opportunity to get this done. All right, guys, I shall talk to you later. If not, bye-bye.